recently about uh, are they getting weapons from mm. Saudi Arabia, Qatar, with a lot of journalists coming back saying, well, we don't really see any signs of it. Uh, clearly, in many places, this war still is about men with Kalashnikovs and fouling pieces taking on the Syrian army. But there are some interesting signs of change, particularly of greater organization. Now, we've got some video here of what they, you might call a complex attack uh, that was mounted uh, quite cleverly a couple of weeks ago north of Aleppo. This first tank hits a landmine that was planted in the uh, soft ground off the tarmac. The rest of the column, what do they do? They're under heavy gunfire, which is why none of them are above the hatches of the tanks. They're all closed down. Their situational awareness is poor. Let's look at how the incident develops. Having pinned them down with gunfire in a mine, they then engage the second tank in the, in the column that we can see here with an anti-tank missile. Now, that may have come from outside, of course. Now, so they've hit that second tank. Actually, it appears the crew of that second vehicle survived and reversed the vehicle out of trouble. But the key point is there, the complex nature of that attack. Mines, gunfire, anti-tank missiles, superior organisation, that could make a major difference.